Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 2nd, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun as we did have a, another M-class flare to talk about. Not a strong one, but a minor M-class solar flare, not in an Earth-facing direction. If you look in the top part of our sun, you can see it just in those last few frames, what's going on. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming, we do have some pretty active and big sunspots cresting in right now to come and play around with Earth. They've been playing around with Mercury and Mars the last a little while. Many CMEs thwarted out that way. Having a look at the last 48 hours outgoing, Lots of plasma filaments stretching across the surface around that big coronal hole that is turned away. Having a look at multi-spectrum here at the last 48 hours of events, pointing them out. And then the most recent here, boom, northern hemisphere. And as well, there's that. We have another large coronal hole getting ready for an Earth-facing view. So big sunspots, big coronal hole and lots of plasma filaments dancing around the surface of our sun. So yeah, pretty busy time right now for our sun, to say the least, into solar cycle 25. Having a look at another light here, 171 angstroms. This is where we can really see our heliosphere. The magnetosphere, pretty much you can see it here on our sun, and as well the active six sunspot regions. Thank you everybody for tuning in today. Here's a closer look at that big sunspot region. Yesterday we were showing it, and as well, notable in the outgoing position, that lower sunspot region producing quite a flash, and that most likely was another M-class solar flare in the last few views there. That's quite a flash. Current space weathering conditions, there we are under R1, minor radio blackout conditions are occurring. Solar winds are coming in at 481 kilometers per second right now. And as you can see, the solar X-ray flux hopping around today. Strong C-class solar flare and a moderate M-class solar flare, but still spiking away. KP index sitting at 2.5 to 3. ISWA space prediction spiral showing yesterday's CME, but there's another one coming out. And this is a new one right there as we refresh. Here it is. So not as large as yesterday's, but another one heading out towards the Parker Solar Probe. Lots of energy is coming our way. Fourth into the 5th of November. And as well, scooting underneath of our planet. Having a look at Lasco 2, sorry, Lasco 3, showing all of the space weather events for the past 48 hours big CME produced with that most recent event on our sun, the M flare. You can see it was projected in the northward fashion, but also in an earth directed fashion. Already seeing that static increase on imagery here. And another close look here at the last 48 hours on our sun. Amazing images brought to you by Soho and as well NASA and all developers. Thank you. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as it's kind of gone quiet. I mean, still the largest earthquake in the past 24 hours is 6.1 there in Indonesia yesterday, and there was no tsunami, or else I would have said that there was a tsunami. Uh, Philippines, 5.7 earthquake rocking there. Lots of activity through the Pacific Plate as forewarned. Now we get to the deep earthquakes here. 540 kilometer depth, and then the deepest past 24 hours, 583 kilometer depth. Fiji, lots of deep earthquakes today. Minor activity through Hawaii. Looking across the United States, small earthquake swarm occurring at White City, New Mexico. That is some volcanic land, if you ever look at that on USGS or satellite imagery. Ferndale, California, 3.3. Largest across North American soil right there. Minor activity, not too much to report. Central America, South America, 
minor 4.0s ring in and southward, but still uh, way southern Chile seeing increasing activity over the last little bit. Villa Rica volcano just uh, was upgraded two days ago. Now let's have a look at USGS as they're reporting 234 earthquakes past 24 hours. Lots of them occurring in Alaska right now. Not There are no swarms occurring across the United States. Having a look here. Uh, through Texas and Mexico. Reporting 164 across the California state. Out of the 234 that are on this map. Notable activity up into the Pacific Northwest. Rainier, Helens. Here's the geysers, 34 earthquakes there. If there's any swarm occurring, it's occurring here at White City, New Mexico, and as well the geysers, which is a normal place to see minor activity like that. Nothing notable in Hawaii, but I wanted to share with you as well, looking here at Volcano Discovery, showing all of the recent activity around the Rick James Volcano. Iceland reporting a lot of minor activity as of late and as well quite an uplift. So heads up Iceland. Now let's have a quick look at the last seven days for shakers around the world and take a quick moment to say thank you for watching and thank you for clicking that like button, subscribing, hitting the notification bell so you don't miss an update. Thank you for being the best community on YouTube and much love. Be ready because we're still going through some crazy moments. Heads up, North American Plate. Now let's get to weather here, brought to you by Windy.com and as well daily events worldwide. Strong system heading into the West Coast, United States and Washington over the next few days, 4th into the 5th. And then the snow will start falling across Canada and eastward. Strong system moving through northern Ontario and Quebec. And then affecting Newfoundland there, strong winds and snow. And then a large system here comes into northern BC and Alaska. The rain train continues for BC. Not much has changed for that forecast. Almost six days now. And then overlooking Europe, Africa, Russia. Multiple lows still surrounding and pounding Europe. The gray days are long ahead of you now. It's going to be at least another week and a half of these systems coming through. Notable there, that big system heading out of China and up into South and North Korea. Overlooking Australia and Central Pacific Ocean. No major systems developing in the long range, but lingering low here through equatorial region blocked by a bunch of highs in the southern hemisphere could spell for some cyclone doom in the long run in the long run notable here big cold highs moving in and as well some very strong waves are projected here and forecasted especially for parts of France and Spain this system right now is already packing waves of upwards of 11.5 meters and then the next system that comes in fourth into the fifth into france is going to have the same deal and then looking at the north atlantic just so roaring up and heading back into france so heads up european friends and family stay aware and prepared and share this with your friends and family having a look over the pacific ocean Rain train continues with these low pressure systems and then a pretty strong one coming out of uh, eastern Russia and Kamchatka in the long range forecast. That's going to be battering north Alaska and northern BC. So same deal in the Pacific. Now let's get to air quality. Look at this mass of SO2. This is the forecast models for SO2 as we've had quite a large eruption Somewhere in eastern Russia, most likely the Ebiko volcano, that was the most recent one getting updated, and that is the southern tip of Kamchatka, one of the island volcanoes there. Massive amounts of SO2 in the North Pacific right now. This is crazy, guys. 
That is some intense SO2. Look at the parts per milligrams here. 370 to 400 parts per milligram. Wow. And that's all going to be heading towards North America in the long range forecast. Putting this into motion, overlooking the Northern Hemisphere and this massive amount of SO2. It's going to be grinding up into BC, uh, Washington, and then sweeping across the Canadian prairies. I mean, we don't see anything like that here on the rest of the maps, except for a pretty large eruption over uh, north northern parts of uh, South America, because uh, there's some pretty active volcanoes there through Colombia, Reventador specifically. But yeah, friends and family around the world, we're going to have to get a volcano update coming up soon, and as well as planetary positions as things have changed over the last little while. So much love and look forward to that video coming up this weekend. Leave you here looking at the SO2 models for this mass system that's going to be heading into North America. Heads up, health and air advisory will be in effect in three-day forecast. As this big system wraps up all that SO2, sulfur dioxide emissions from a large volcanic eruption in Russia. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.